Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we have an unboxing. My brand new toy that I got today. Got it on uh, April 2nd. Every second matters. Today we're going to open it up take a look at it. First thing we have is the receipt. Always important. Got to remember to hide that so your wife doesn't find it. A little bit of wax paper or oil paper or whatever it is and right here we have the toy. You can see here it's a Smith & Wesson Model 629 Classic. It is chambered in 44 Magnum. And we have six shots of 44 Magnum. That's the toy. We'll leave that here for now. We pull back our little foam piece and we have our keys for our Hillary hole. We have a lock. And then we have our instruction manual. I believe the gist of it is you put bullets in, pull the trigger, bullets come out. And there we have our registration and our warranty. Oh, and our join the NRA today. Pass. And that's everything that's in the box. Or, so in case any of you are wondering, what's in the box? It was that. Pull it out. Again, you're safe. Pull it back here. Forgive me, I am doing everything upside down. This is a cheapy, very, very, very cheap trigger pull scale. So, we'll see what we got here. Came out five pounds. Did not feel like five pounds when I was trying it before. We got about four and a half. And we got about four and a half to get in there. But when you are When you are trying it without the trigger pull scale, there is, there's nothing there. So I don't think my uh, scale is doing all that well. I barely have anything on that. About four and a half again. That is a very Nice four and a half pounds, if that's truly what it is. There's, there's nothing there. Not in single action. Double action, yeah, it's pretty heavy, but that's what you're expecting. And to give you an idea, this is a 44 Magnum. Hillary Hole Keys. That's a 357. This is my Ruger GP100. I have had this for a while. It's probably either this or my uh, P89 is the gun that I've had the longest that I still have. Got a Crimson Trace on this. And it's 357, four inch barrel. That one's a little bit bigger, just a hair. But I plan to take this to the range either tomorrow, which would be Tuesday or Wednesday. Take this, take my AR with the 300 blackout in it and see how that works out with the uh, new buffers. 
and then I will make attempt to make a video while I'm at the range with that one and get that up later this week so there you have it there's a new toy uh, Smith & Wesson 629 Classic and 44 Magnum it's going to be fun to shoot I think we'll find out that's it thanks for watching like share and subscribe this video and until next time stay armed stay vigilant stay safe